Ah, what a beautiful morning for a terrible day. guys well i'm gonna try and keep my cool this is supposed to be the inaugural test ride of the van life and 20 minutes into my trip the engine lights everything lights up like a damn christmas tree freaking every light possible is on and i do not know what the issue is i don't know if it's a smart idea probably not to go drive four hours up north and then if something goes wrong i'm screwed like i haven't even had my coffee yet so i'm almost too tired to get frustrated but I've been weeks in the making now and literally i'm heading out for the first test run of the trip i have the van fully loaded with food camping gear camera gear everything i'm gonna call some people try and get some advice maybe the mechanic who certified the van a couple weeks ago can help me out i don't know what to do so i guess i'll just pick up the camera in a little bit <laughs> i'm not crying you're crying oh man the inaugural test run ends up like this what can you do obviously i am disappointed but recently i've really taken pride in not letting things that i can't control bother me so you know it probably would have been a dumb idea to continue the trip it's best just to figure out the solution now and it's unfortunate because the van is all converted and ready to go for a camping trip so i guess i'll show you guys the conversion setup because i'm gonna have to rip this all out and take it to the shop and since everything's all dialed in i just will give you guys a little tour now so all right so on the back i got these blinds for a little stealth mode cover which is pretty sweet you can sleep back here you guys have seen the platform and the bed is obviously right on top i have the storage all completely loaded up with gear water ready to go for adventures got my hiking boots i got the table that pulls out to the back right there and then we'll walk around i just keep this on the side ideally maybe one day i could find something better for it i have the sliders here and then i also have them that come across here so it's full stealth mode if i want i need to get some for the back window too but yeah so here is the nice cozy setup and we're always going to spend the next two days but even had a lunch pack ready to go got all this food yesterday got all my cooking stuff in here and <sighs> what a bummer what a bummer. So I stuck the scanner in and I got the code. The issue is U0141 and it's saying lost communication with the body control module A. So I've been spending the last few hours doing some research, some tutorials and stuff like that. And there's good news and bad news. The good news is it's seeming like it might just be something electrical, like a fuse could have blown, wire disconnected, maybe the body control module fried, not too sure. But ideally, if it's just something electrical, it shouldn't be too expensive of a fix and the bad news is that this video is not going to be an adventure camping vlog anymore it's going to be me trying to fix the car so i called the mechanic they said i could drop in whenever so in about an hour i'm going to head over there hopefully i can get it dealt with for next to nothing and yeah right now i'm going to go unload the conversion because i gotta drive to mississauga all right so of course as soon as i get back in the car to unload everything the light disappeared so I got the scanner now, I'm gonna see if the issue is still there. Like, oh man, what's going on here? Well, it's still saying the code is there, but the light isn't on anymore. Yeah, okay, perfect, I'll see you then. Thanks, bye. <laughs>
unfortunately the whole body control module needs to be replaced and it's going to cost me $350 which kind of sucks. I wish I could have at least got a good trip out of this van before things started to go wrong because ideally these videos are supposed to pay off the van but what can you do? At the end of the day I feel like it almost happened for a reason and for the better because tonight it's going to get down to zero degrees. It's going to be freezing temperatures. I don't have a heater back there and it probably would have been a very long and uncomfortable night. So I'm just going to try this trip again next week if all goes well and I can get this fixed by Monday. And yeah, who knows, next week is going to be 20 degrees so ideally things should work out better because this whole trip I had planned was an epic one and it should be a lot of fun and I want to do it. So thank you for watching to the end. Forever grateful. My Much love guys and I'll see you in the next one.